Before you start the game, make sure you mark your floor with tape, and this is going to be the position that you start every time. Make sure that you face the same direction each time you start the game. Walk to your starting position and reset your view using the left controller. Do this only if you have not created any walls or your walls are completely misaligned. Make sure you reset your guardian settings and redefine your floor height before starting the game. If tracking problems persist, change your environmental lighting and restart your headset. Multiple restarts may be required if tracking problems persist. If you set up the Oculus Boundary system, make sure you draw your area as large as possible. I disabled my boundaries for the sake of this video. Make sure you're aware of the environment you're playing in, and it's advised to use the boundary system for your own safety. It may be faster just to delete all the walls and rebuild the scene each time it gets misaligned. This is recommended for small spaces. Touch the floor and press X to enable a spawn plane. Then use the left bumper to start spawning the walls. You can adjust the size of the wall using the left touch controller. Press X to end the spawn plane. Your play space must be fully enclosed to make sure that the enemies spawn properly. Use the joystick to adjust the height and width of the walls you're spawning. You can use the right bumper to adjust the objects that have been already placed. You can grab the red hand to adjust your scene if it's slightly misaligned. To delete a wall, touch the lower enable button on the spawn menu. You will have the ability to delete walls using your right hand. Make sure you press the disable button to be able to spawn walls again. Once you are finished placing all your walls, you must restart the app to save your setup. Do not take off your headset or reset your view. Your walls should be in the same position from where you left them last. Select the basic setup if you did not manually place the floors or place custom objects. If you select the wrong option, the game will not work. The scene will slightly shift forward. Make sure you use the joystick on your left controller to realign the walls and to play. Touch the buttons to spawn weapons and ammo. Make sure you give 1-2 to two feet of space when grabbing the objects off the table. You can use your backpack by taking your left hand controller, pressing the trigger, and reaching behind you. Hold the trigger and you're able to place weapons and objects inside the backpack. You can take out your backpack anytime while you're playing the game to grab weapons or ammo. The backpack is incredibly useful when fighting enemies. After each round, your wall should stay intact. You will be able to play again right away. If there are any issues that occur while you're playing the game, make sure you restart your headset and readjust your boundary and floor settings. You may have to do this multiple times since the headset can lose tracking due to any reason. If the pass-through doesn't work and your screen is black, changing the scenes can fix this issue or restarting the headset.